Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Amen. 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 Mommy, I want to thank you so much for this privilege. Thank you. Thank you for yielding to Christ and taking up this assignment because it has changed my life. It has changed my prayer life, everything about me. Thank you so much. Tonight, I'm going to be ministering and uh, teaching the women not to indulge themselves, to be women that God is looking for. Praise the Lord. Our scripture is from the book of Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, I will read from verse 1. The Bible says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, great, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience, but free. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Hallelujah. Amen. Teachers of good things. God is calling on women to be the Titus chapter 2 women that will be teachers of good things. Amen. The Amen. theme of this program says God's blueprint. God's blueprint. And I was looking at the dictionary to know what is the meaning of blueprint. God's blueprint. It says the plan that fully described the quality and specification of the material, the foundation. The quality and strength of a foundation determines the quality and strength of everything built on it. Praise the Lord. What is inside is determined by what comes out. So when the Bible said from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, what is inside determines what you're seeing outside. From the abundance of the heart, in the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 34, what is inside determines what you're seeing outside. And the scripture said in Psalm 11, verse 3, that if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What, blue, what blueprint are we living? What legacy are we living as women of God? As great, you know, destiny battles because we are builders. Praise the Lord. God Hallelujah. is calling on us to rise up. Just like the woman of God said that we must be intentional about our relationships. Are we giving or are we just receiving? Are we sowing or are we just, are we just taking? Praise the Lord. God Amen. is calling us to rise up, to be women that are giving, that are giving to our next generation. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this testimony, you know, because like I said, since I met mommy, 2004, July, to be precise, I met mommy for the first time. And since that time, you know, I've learned a lot. And mommy, I want to tell you, you are God's blueprint. You are God's blueprint because so many things that you have imparted into my life, not even by what you say, but by your character, by your character. In, 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 as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, I have learned a lot from you, mommy. You know, the way you treat daddy, the way you, you train your children, so many things that I've learned from you. And that is how it should be from all of us of all of us, that our lives should speak, just like Pastor uh, Evangelist Veronica was saying, that it's not your, the words that you speak, it is your character. The, mm -hmm. Not the Bible that we have, not this Bible. It is the Bible that is you, you. We are the Bibles that the world is reading now. What will be said of you? What will people say about you? What will they say about you? What are your neighbors saying about you? Are you living a blueprint or are you just receiving? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is calling us to rise up and begin to impart our generation. 
Our mm. children are watching us. The world around us are watching. People at work, they are watching you. If you call yourself a child of God, what are the blueprints you're living? Mm -hmm. What are the impacts you're making in the lives of people? Mm -hmm. That is what matters. It matters more than the scriptures that you know. It matters more than the words that you can quote. What are your, what are your character? What are your lifestyle? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must mm -hmm. be consistent. Consistency. Consistency. I want, to, I want to thank God for the life of mommy, you know, because these home builders have been consistent. I remember sometimes when some of us will say, oh, mommy, I'm not available today. She will be there. She will be, she's been consistent from the first day. Mommy, I celebrate the grace of God upon your life, mm -hmm. you know, because, I mean, that is what God is looking for. And that is one thing I've learned from you, mommy. The, the, the grace, I mean, the power of consistency, to be consistent in, in what God has called you to do. Women, is there anything that God has laid in your heart to do? Maybe you did it once, twice, and it did not work the way you wanted to, to work, and you gave up. Don't give up, because there is, there is a reward in consistency. There is reward in, in consistency. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, she's a crazy girl. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go on. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God is looking for women that will rise up and impact their world. And impact their world. And actually, the time is running out. The time is running out. We don't have time. We need to do it now. Now. In the yes. name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And Amen. you cannot impart your word without the wisdom of God. We need the wisdom of God. We need the wisdom of God in everything we do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The wisdom of God in the book of Ecclesiastes, because of our time, I'm not going to be reading the scriptures. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10. The wisdom of God will sharpen you and it will give you direction. Praise the Lord. The wisdom Amen. of God will sharpen you and give you divine direction. Divine direction to know what to do, when to do, and how to do. Praise the Lord. We need the wisdom of God in everything we do. As women of God, as home builders, as home builders, we need the wisdom of God. Tonight, I believe that God in his mercy will release upon us his wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will build, build us and we will not be destroyers in Amen. the name of Jesus. That we Amen. will not indulge in sin. We will not indulge ourselves in things, things of this world that mean nothing. But we will seek after righteousness. We will seek after the kingdom. We will be a light in our world. Praise the Lord. The Bible says we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. A city that is set on ill, we cannot be hidden. Mm -hmm. We cannot be hidden. Make impact in your, in your neighborhood. Make impact. Make impact. Let your children read you. Let them read you. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. so, so many of us want, the children, want our children to behave like Christ. Are we behaving like Christ? Are we behaving like Christ? Because they are reading what we do. They are following us in the name of Jesus. Amen. To be a Titus chapter 2 woman, you must walk in wisdom. You must watch who you listen to, who you follow, who you confide in. Women are emotional beings. We love to express ourselves. Be careful the people you talk to. Be careful the people you confide in. Praise the Lord. Because Amen. the evangelist Veronica said, relationships. Relationship can either mold you or destroy you. There is power in relationship. Because we women, we, we, we are emotional in everything. We, we do things in, with emotions. So we must be very careful where we lay our guards. Because the relationship can either build you, any relationship that is not building you, 
any mm -hmm. relationship that is not pushing you to Christ. Like I said, since I knew mommy, my spiritual life has taken a new shape. Mm. My spiritual life has taken a new shape. She is my mother forever. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God for the day I came in contact with Apostle Chinwe. Because it has added to me. It has added to my destiny. It has added to my life. Praise the Lord. And that is, that is where we are supposed to be to so other people. When people come in contact with you, they should say, no, my life has changed since I met you. My life has changed. There are numerous testimonies of, of, of connections, of relationships that God has privileged me to be part of. And I know the testimonies that Man. God is doing because it, it flows from the head. It flows from the head. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is calling us to be Titus chapter 2 women. Titus chapter 2 women. Teach the younger ones. Teach people. Let people know. Let them learn from your character. Let them learn from your way of life. Hallelujah. How Amen. are you handling your husband? How are you training your children? People are watching. People are watching. Praise the Lord. And the Amen. word of God is our standard. I pray that God will continue to give us his wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We must walk in love. We Amen. must walk. Our life must bring glory to God. You are the blueprint. Praise the Lord. You Hallelujah. are the blueprint. You are the blueprint of God. You are the blueprint of God because you have the spirit of God inside of you. The Bible says, greater is it that is in me than he that is in the world. You are the blueprint that the world is looking for. You are the Bible that the world wants to read because the foundation is solid. That our foundation is Jesus Christ. And on Christ, the solid rock was standing. Praise the Lord. So Amen. when we are standing on Christ, everything we are building on it must be Christ. Mm. Everything we are building on it must be Christ. Don't, don't enter any relationship for your selfish gain just because of what you can take from it. But what you want to give. Relationships is about giving. Life is about giving. Life is about giving. What are you giving to your world? What are you giving to the next generation coming? Yesterday, the youth meeting was, was such a wonderful time and we, we could see that the seed in our children are bringing forth good fruits. And that is what it should be. Hallelujah. Amen. Our life should shine. The Bible says, let your light so shine that they might see it and glorify God. Let your light so shine that they may see it and glorify God. We are the light of the world. And in this world that we are in today, people are looking for results. People that can give results, expression to life, that can influence them in the right direction. I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will help us. So just to summarize my message tonight, intentionality. Be intentional about what you're doing. Be intentional and be consistent. Be consistent. Hallelujah. Be Amen. consistent and let God be the center of it. Let God be the center of it. Impact lives positively in the name of Jesus. Impact Amen. lives. Change destinies because you have everything. You are God's blueprint. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Amen.